Discovering that an unauthorized person is living in your rental property is a stressful situation. As a landlord, it is your duty to protect the property and ensure that only authorized and vetted individuals live in the unit. Today, we discuss different types of unauthorized occupants, plus steps to take when one moves into your rental. Hey everyone, it's Alyssa here from Bay Property Management Group. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our exclusive content. With that said, let's jump into today's video. Unfortunately, despite having a rock-solid lease agreement, there may be times when a tenant's guest overstays their welcome, someone sublets the property illegally, or you find yourself dealing with a squatter that refuses to leave. So what constitutes an unauthorized occupant in your rental property? Most lease agreements provide that only the tenant on the lease and no one else can occupy the rental home. Therefore, any other person residing in the rental for any time is technically considered unauthorized according to the lease terms. That said, there are different categories of unauthorized occupants. Long-term guests. A guest is a temporary visitor or family member who has taken up residence with your tenant's permission. Generally, long-term guests stay for a period greater than two weeks and may or may not contribute to some household expenses. Sublet tenant. When tenants cannot fulfill their lease obligations for whatever reason, they may seek out a sublet tenant. These unauthorized occupants form an agreement with the current tenant instead of the landlord. For landlords, having an unvetted tenant that did not sign the original residential lease is detrimental. Squatters. Squatters are people who enter or even break into your rental property without permission. However, this complex issue involves federal, state, and local laws. If a property owner attempts to evict a squatter illegally or the squatter remains in the property for a time with no attempt at concealment, the squatter may retain some rights, thus making a landlord's problems far worse. Additionally, if your tenant refuses to leave the property under legal circumstances or does not pay rent, they too are squatters. So why are unauthorized occupants a problem for landlords? Well, number one, they can cause property damage. Authorized tenants are responsible for their guests' actions and therefore any damages they cause. However, holding an unauthorized occupant directly accountable for damages can prove difficult, if not impossible, for landlords. Number two, rent is not being paid. When an unauthorized occupant is not on the lease, they are not legally responsible for the rent. Plus, getting an unauthorized occupant out will likely take a court eviction, which consumes both time and money for landlords. In the meantime, no rent is coming in. And number three, the lease is unenforceable. Unauthorized occupants never signed the original lease and therefore do not have to follow the rules. This causes many potential issues such as noise complaints, parking violations, or HOA concerns that create added problems for the landlord with very little recourse. So what can landlords do to handle unauthorized occupants? Let's look at how to handle each of these unfortunate situations. Dealing with long-term guests. Building guest restrictions into the lease agreement to prevent overstayers is critical. Often termed the use of premises clause, this might include a 10-day limit on guest stays in any six-month period. Furthermore, if a tenant wishes to house a guest for longer, the agreement requires written approval from the owner. It is also vital to outline the consequences of hiding long-term guests in the home, such as fines, rent increases, and even eviction. Rectifying a sublet property. One of the most surefire ways of avoiding a subleasing nightmare is by strictly forbidding it in the rental agreement. That way, should your tenant ever decide to sublease anyway, the landlord will have a strong defense. Some key points to remember when dealing with a sublease and unauthorized occupant include address the subleasing in the lease. Some states will not accept a landlord's claim of an unauthorized person if you did not note outright in the lease that subleasing is not allowed. If you do allow subleasing, be sure to require that sublet tenants adhere to the standard screening qualifications and require all parties to sign a newly drafted lease agreement. Do not collect funds. Never collect rent from an illegal subtenant. Once a landlord accepts funds, specific tenant laws activate protecting the subtenant regardless of whether they are legally allowed to be in the property or not. Eviction. If you are going to evict a subtenant, make sure to follow the correct procedures for a legal eviction to avoid getting yourself into trouble or prolonging the process unnecessarily. Handling a squatter. 
If you ask someone to leave your rental property, whether an unauthorized guest or squatter, and they do not vacate, landlords must file a wrongful detainer action in court to seek eviction. A wrongful detainer means someone who holds possession of the real property without the right of possession. That said, you cannot file a wrongful detainer to evict current tenants or those who are holding over. Here are the steps for a wrongful detainer action. Number one, file a complaint in the district court. Number two, court issues a summons to the person accused of wrongful possession of the property. Number three, the unauthorized occupant will appear in court to explain why they are not in the wrong. Number four, if the court sides with the landlord, owners will then be granted a warrant of restitution. And number five, landlords will then schedule a date with the sheriff to have the unauthorized occupant evicted from the property. Again, it is critical to follow the legal regulations for properly evicting an unauthorized occupant in your investment property. Here are a few tips to avoid an unauthorized occupant in your rental. Develop a thorough screening process. Your best defense is to have an in-depth screening process in place that verifies income, criminal and credit history, as well as rental history. Create a well-written legal lease. A thorough and legally binding contract is the foundation for any landlord-tenant relationship. Additionally, insurance states that if eviction proceedings take place, the tenant is responsible for court costs or any incurred fees. Foster communication. Communication is the critical aspect of any landlord-tenant relationship. If an issue arises, reach out and discuss it with your tenants first. It is possible that an unauthorized occupant may just be a misunderstanding and follow through. When an unauthorized occupant is discovered, landlords may ask that they leave or be added to the lease. However, if they do not comply, landlords can legally evict them. So always follow through on the consequences you warn them about. For more advice on a variety of other issues important to the rental industry, subscribe to the Bay Property Management Group channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our exclusive content. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.